Welcome to another tutorial from Brando Consulting. In this tutorial, I want to show you one of my favorite features. It may not be one of your favorite features, but I think it's pretty cool. It's the put away feature in the transfer order screen. Basically, the idea behind this feature is you create a transfer order that you pick in order to put your inventory away, meaning the inventory started out in a place it didn't belong. The most common use for this is on a day-to-day -day basis is to put your parts away that are just sitting there in the receiving dock. Okay, so this is a two-step uh, receiving process. And the put away is the second step of the receiving process. So that's one use of this feature. Another use of this feature is if you're just starting out using Fishbowl for the first time and say your previous system didn't track locations and it was difficult to put all of your quantity in Fishbowl so you just dumped it in the general location which is stock. It's an unidentified location that's just a default location from Fishbowl and you want to now identify what location the parts are in. Okay, so there's a couple different uses for this. One is a day-to-day -day process, the other one's kind of a creative way to get started. So let's take a look. We'll go to the transfer order screen found under materials, transfer order. Click on put away right here and then it first wants to know which warehouse you're in. Okay, A location group is just a warehouse. It's, it's a building with an address and this file has two of them. I'm going to select middle field and then it wants to know the specific location. I'm going to select receiving because I have a ton of inventory just sitting in receiving that needs to be put away. And then it wants to know the location group you need to put it away at. Now this is interesting. You could put it away at a different building. Okay. Um, in this example, I'm going to pretend like my buildings are hours or days away. And so we're not going to put it away in another building. I think the replenish feature is a better feature to use for replenishing one of your satellite buildings with your hub stock building. Uh, so in this put away feature we're going to do we're going to stay in the same building. Click finish and then the magic happens. Look at that. That was magical. It just boom created this huge transfer order that says put all of this away. Okay. Then the next status is issue. The pick ticket will not be created if you don't click issue. So don't forget to click issue. Now you see this pick link is colored in. Before it was just grayed out. Rewind the video if you want to see it grayed out. So we'll click to pick and now here we are at the picking screen and we have different options at this point. Option one is we could go to reports and print out the pick ticket. Now notice this pick ticket, the destination says stock, 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 stock. The from location says receive, 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 receive. So if you're using a pick ticket, you could handwrite in the destination location that it went to, bring this document back, and then once the document is back at the desktop, click on each line with the pick ticket as your reference in your hand. Click on the line, says okay, it says that Julio put this in this location. Click finish. Okay, it says that Janet put this in uh, this location. Right, and you'll go down, click finish. Oh, this one has lot number tracking. We'll put that in. And we'll click finish and go down. That's one way of doing it. Okay. Um, now, another way of doing it is to use the mobile device that we have back here. Now, in order to use this, you need your locations barcoded 
and your parts barcoded. And one more thing, under setup, settings, excuse me, I went to the wrong place, <laughs> under integrations, fishbowl go, we want this setting turned on, always show edit screen. This will allow us to edit the destination of the item and it will allow us to scan the item. If we don't have this turned on and we scan the item, then it will automatically pick the quantity and put it to the destined location without hardly any control from us. So we want that turned on if we want to use this feature and have a good experience with this feature. So the transfer order we created was T4. It's not on here, so we'll click refresh. And there it is, T4. Tap that, go to the transfer order. Now we have this big long list of parts that we're putting away. And so now we can scan the parts. Let's see if I get lucky. Oh, I did not get lucky. <laughs> I got this huge list of parts. Okay, man, I am just I am just not getting lucky. Let's see if I can get lucky and, and get a part, scan a part that's on there. Uh, let's see here. Hey, there we go. Okay, so here's the edit screen and the quantity that we're putting away. We can double check the quantity and then here's the two location. Highlight the two location and do, 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 walk it over to the location that you're putting it at. Or if you're just starting out with Fishbowl for the first time and you're using this creative way of getting started, then we scan the location that it's at. Tap the pick and go to the next one. Boop and boop and tap and there we go pretty cool huh so that's the other way is we can use the mobile device to record the destination because remember back here on the pick ticket fishbowl did not know the destination you wanted to put it to okay now just a little plug in right here if we get interrupted, if we're going to walk away from this, this pick does not happen if we don't click save. So remember right here to click save. So um, now you'll see we've got blue check marks on the transfer order that we had. I just realized that I was looking at another transfer order on the previous screen. So yeah make sure you click save or it does not pick mid stride okay um so then i want to show you one more thing if if neither one of those quite work and you're thinking man i wish fishbowl would just tell me what location to put it to that would make this pick ticket so much easier if the destination was already filled out okay it can do that yeah um, so if you want to use that feature, we just need to previously set it up. I have a spreadsheet here. It's called the default location spreadsheet. And the idea behind this is um, each part can be assigned to a designated location. Now this works if you have plenty of warehouse space and each individual spoiled part gets its very own little shelf space, <laughs> right? Now, if you're cramming for space and you just need to put the part in the available spot, then of course default locations is not going to work for you. So for all of you people out there that have tons of space and you can give each part its own space, this is for you. Default locations, we have each part assigned to its own location okay so I previously set this up for the video because this would bore you to death if if uh, you had to watch this part so now we simply go to 
back to the fishbowl screen, go to File, Import, and type in D for Default Locations. Select Default Locations. Browse to where I saved it. I think this actually is the spot I saved it in. See if we get lucky. Click Next. That looks right. 64 lines. Import. Awesome. So now if you want to see what this did, watch this next part. We'll go to Parts. Select one of these parts. Click on the Default Location tab. And voila. There it is. Click on another part. And another part. Notice, oh, that's a, that's a service. It doesn't have inventory, so that didn't have an, a location. But if I click on an inventory type part, then we've got default locations. And notice there's one default location per building. Okay, so Middlefield, California has its locations, Salt Lake City has its list of locations, which hasn't been set up yet so all right so now that we have that magic we'll go back to picking and void this pick it's going to void everything it can the parts that were already picked can't be voided that's okay we can work with that and then let's see if it does it if we restart the pick start and okay look at this look at this location well those are already in there let's just a minute here yeah that's the that's the from location I'm not sure why that changed um, but here we go this is from receiving so we may have to <laughs> yeah look at this this kind of messed up a little bit if we want to start over with this put away feature. I love it when these things happen because they'll happen to you. So bear with me while we work through this. So we're going to void this pick. Okay. And then go to the transfer order. I like to use the links because that gives me a live screen. There's a link to the transfer order right there. I'm going to click that. And then here's this transfer order. And look, we've got a close short button. Yay. That's what we wanted. Close short. Yes. Okay, now it voids everything except for the items that were already transferred. So now we just do another put away. Boom, boom, boom. Transfer order. Would you like to save changes? Nope. Okay, we're going to put away from receiving. So review. Great. Yep. It's great to review. And there we go. There's that magic that we love. Click issue. Go to pick. Okay, there we go. Now everything's coming from receiving. Well, that was kind of crazy, huh? So we'll highlight that. And now we've got our default location. And when we use the pick ticket, it has a new destination location. Pretty cool, huh? So there's two reasons to use the put away transfer order. One is if you're starting out fishbowl for the first time and you need some creative way of of scanning everything in and um, assigning locations to it okay that's one reason to use the put away feature another way is on a day-to-day -day basis where your process of receiving is a two-step process where you first receive to the receiving location and this is kind of common in the barcode world because you may need to barcode it before you put it away. And you can't print out barcodes very easily out of Fishbowl unless it's first received in stock. So receive it. And then step two of receiving is use this awesome put away feature. Create this pick ticket and put it away. Now, if if this is overkill, if this put away feature is... If, if, if I've got a rough crowd and you don't think it's this cool, then um, you can also use the move feature instead of the put away feature. If you just want to move it from receiving, then this move feature might be for you. You would 
move it from receiving. I don't know if I have a barcode. Yep, there we go. Move it from receiving. There we go. Scanned receiving. And then I have to pick a part that's actually in receiving or this is not going to work. So cross your fingers. Um, boop. And then quantity. I have to put actual quantity that's in receiving or that's not going to work. And then we've got destination location. Oh, this is a lot number tracked. So I've made all my lot numbers one, two, three, just so I could remember. And then honestly, if this works, it's a miracle because uh, I've got to have that part with enough quantity. And well, I put way too much quantity because I, I scan the location. I do that all the time. Be careful. Don't, don't scan when your cursor is in the wrong place. Make sure to scan when it's in the right place. Location. Boop. Okay. If I'm lucky, this will work. I'm not going to Vegas. <laughs> okay, but if this part was in this location and it had this quantity, then that move feature, this move feature would work. Um, so there you go. There is the put away, the transfer order put away feature in Fishbowl, and it's, I guess, alternative feature if, if uh, you'd like to check out the move feature instead. So thanks for joining us today with Brando Consulting with this tutorial on one of my favorite features, the put away feature. Maybe I'll have to make a video on the replenish feature. That's a pretty cool feature too. And if you'd like to see more videos from Brando Consulting, don't forget to click subscribe. Or if you want to see related videos, click on the related video link.